Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my Warframe videos. So, this one won't be a build, as the title suggests. It will be taking you along in my journey to 30. Now, as you know, the usual. Have a Patreon, tell stories with sound effects, link in the description below. Also, if you want to commission me for anything really, anything voice related, spicy included, you can DM me on Instagram for commission details. Let's get right to it. Now, as you see here, I do have an affinity booster. And normally, that would be fantastic. Normally, I'd be able to oh, take a whole bunch of stuff in here and max it out and level it and it'll be great. Just like I showed in my preliminary video about how good this is for XP farming. Unfortunately, <laughs> some of you who do run this for fun or you're trying to get all three of the main arcanes or whatever have realized they neutered it. Because that makes sense. People are having fun, they're utilizing it, they're playing your event a whole lot, and your event is temporary. And Grindhard Squad already, he already, already, before I made mine, made a video about how good this was. And that doing the regular Ascension was nowhere near as good for XP. Right, so, in an event, everything's fantastic, awesome. Stupid amounts of XP, lots of Eximus everywhere, it's fun, you know, just, it's a good time for everyone. You're getting arcanes, you're getting moats, it's all great. Well, I don't exactly know how they neutered it, but they did. <laughs> because without an affinity booster, I could run two matches with two weapons and max them both out. I'd get anywhere between 0 to 19 or 0 to 27. And then run another match, and with two weapons, be done. Now, with an Affinity Booster, I get the exact same results, instead of being able to max them out in one go. I think they might have uh, slowed down the spawn rate of the two particular doors where they spawn a shitload out of, and maybe there's not enough up top, or there's just not as many spawning, I don't know. I mean, you guys can analyze if you like, you know, the difference between the videos of when it first came out and this one here, if you'd like, to get the finest details. But they did! And the reason I have a problem with it is because it's an event. <laughs> you, you want people to play your event until its conclusion. It's only for a month. And yet, they cut down on the enemies, which means cutting down on a lot of XP. And it's just really, really... Come on, man. He's not going to be here that long, and, and Ascension is already geared up to not be as insane as the Belly of the Beast event Ascension. I don't know, that was, that was just dumb, dude. Because I, I bought an Affinity Booster to, you know, a three-day to, to capitalize on this. To really make the grind less of a slog. And it's still good with an affinity booster. You know, it's and I'm still doing two runs. But, you know, whenever whenever I run out, which is going to be tomorrow, then I'm screwed. Then this isn't going to be anywhere near as good as when it came out. And it's just, I don't know, it just seems nonsensical for something temporary. Yeah. But other than that... <laughs> <laughs> other than my minute bitching, other than it being annoying, it's not really, you know, the end of the world. I still got Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, still got Helena, which is mind-numbingly boring, but it works. Still got the uh, Exterminate with uh, Silence and stuff. But it's just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Leave a comment below if you're somebody who you know, actually cares about ranking up mastery, whether it's just to get to 20 or 30, or you're only getting to 16. And, uh, let me know. You think it was a bad idea? Or, like, does it just not affect you at all because you don't care about it more? I mean, for somebody like myself, like I said, I am trying to get to 30, so, you know, <laughs> any, any method that is faster than the previous, 
I would like to utilize. I don't know, it just seems kind of unnecessary. So, in addition to this, I did not realize just how much stuff you get for MR30. <laughs> that, that is a lot of ribbon slots. I don't remember all of it, but I know it was a lot. And it was worth it as well. Like, it, it was a lot of stuff. Like, you get some big boosts of stuff, like configuration slots, uh, ribbon slots, a bunch of stuff. On top of being able to bless yourself and the relay that you're in, so... I really want to get to it because that's just going to be massively useful. I don't have to buy Affinity Boosters anymore. I can just go in, Affinity Boost myself, play for a while, and then if there is a cooldown to how many blessings you can do, that's fine. I can just level up more casually once this event is done. Do that, once the Affinity Booster runs out, chill. Just have some fun. So, I'm looking forward to that. Also, I do want the metal. <laughs> I think it's cool. I think it's cool because the way that I see it, I'm doing something in a game to unlock IRL rewards. And I think that's cool. I like that. You know, it's fun. It's a good time. I like how the metal looks as well. But yeah, I, uh, I was using the dual toxicist here. I had actually forgot how to... <laughs> <laughs> How to put corrosive in heat. I did, uh, I did do blast. Just, like, pure blast and electricity to see how it did. It did pretty good, but... I hadn't actually used the dual toxicist or any, like, super strong, uh, fully automatic weapon to kill the sister. I hadn't, I hadn't done that at all before. I just kept running the Prisma Gorgon. And I was, you know, I was doing good. I was doing good damage, especially with the team. We were taking it down. No problem. And that is one of my current favorite primaries. But the reason I was running it was because I needed a good weapon in the primary slot. Because I was leveling up melee and secondary weapons. So I needed something we could actually kill. So that way I didn't cause any issues to my team. And I was having a good time. But... I was mainly using the Incarnate version, so I didn't really hit the damage attenuation that you normally would have using the dual toxicist, as you saw before, and as you'll see again. And I was like, damn. Honestly, this sister of Parvos has higher damage attenuation than the Archons, unless they buffed this sister specifically and the Archons, because I've not, I've not run an Archon hunt, you know, since this came out. So I don't know if they have, but <laughs> the funny thing is, is that I can kill Archons faster with the dual toxicists than I can kill them, or than I can kill the sister of Parvos that we get here. And it's just like, that seems a bit unnecessary, but all right. It's not that she's hard. It's just weird. <laughs> like, well, why? Like, why would... That just doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't get it. But it was kind of funny, though. Because I'm just sitting there, just holding down the trigger, like... All right, any second now. Come on. All right, here we go. Any second. All right, good. You did. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think... I think that's the only thing I don't like about this event. Is, uh... That they nerfed the, the XP that you get, you know, from it. But other than that, it's good. It's good. <sighs> also, I find it a little bit funny that they, uh, they said they didn't want anybody to suffer from burnout super hard, right? But then they make the, the what do you call it? They make the, the, the Arcane Energize and the other two... 46 to, you know, like 46 volatile molts per, right? And then the other ones are five, which they're super easy to get. So, that seems like burnout to me. Because I think you have to get like, what, like a thousand? I, I had 510 volatile moats, and I was only able to afford 10 arcane energizers. 
You know how long it takes to get 510? Like, I've been playing this almost every single day. And only had 510 at the time. Which I think it was like, I don't know, 3 or 4 days ago, maybe. Something like that, whenever I checked. And I currently have like, I don't know, I did show. It was, it was 700 something. Um... Oh, oh no, wait, no, I did actually have 700, but then I spent a decent amount getting other stuff, and then I was down to 510, and I was able to, that's right, that's right. So I got back up to 700, and we're in the teens of days left from a 30-day event. I don't know about you, but, uh, yeah, putting their cost to 46 kind of doesn't do anything to help burnout. I mean, yeah, I could just, like, farm platinum and stuff like that, but there's a lot more things than just one thing that is ridiculously overpriced at 1,500 plat for a rank 5. You know, I could use that for anything. I could use it for all the forma that I need to save myself some farming time so I can actually use that time instead of farming for forma to go ahead and farm prime parts or vice versa. You know, there's so many different important things that I could actually use platinum for, that are way more useful than dumping 1500 on a single arcane. So of course I'm going to do this, right? But, yeah, yeah, I know, this, this takes a long fucking time. And honestly, I'm probably not even going to use arcane energize. Truthfully, I'm going to be real honest with you guys. <laughs> I'm probably just going to, I'm probably just going to sell it you know, for the 1500 to get all my plat back to rush my builds, and then I can get to MR30 a lot faster. Because I don't need it. Like, all the builds that I have for my Warframes, the the, the way that I play, the stuff that I run, uh, as you saw on this vault, I have one singular purple shard. You know what that's for? A very, very weak version, essentially, of Equilibrium. That's what it is. And with 45 efficiency on Volt specifically, mind you, that is important, I don't run out of energy. I don't, because my duration's up and I don't need to nuke a whole lot. But whenever I have to nuke back to back, it's not a problem because I have Prime Flow. And on Gara, I have 160 efficiency, I believe. Yeah, 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 160 efficiency. Um, and Prime Flow. Which, you don't actually need Prime Flow, so if you wanted to, you could bump up even more Duration. But I like Duration on there. I hate having to constantly look down at my abilities to see, or look up, uh, to see what's gonna pop out. I, I don't like being stressed about that. I like to be able to remain in combat and have a good time and focus and stay immersed in the combat. I know it's not an issue for a lot of people, and hey, you know, if that's your way to play, good on you. Fantastic. And it's really not hard to do, it's just annoying, because it takes me out of focusing on the fun, <laughs> you know? It's just not for me. It's not my playstyle. So, I have uh, Molt Augmented and Molt uh, Efficiency, so that way her Shattered Storm is 38 seconds, and that's plenty. That's plenty. That's good, and it feels a lot more comfortable to me. And I don't have to worry about energy, because I also have a singular uh, purple shard for the 30%, you know, health and energy conversion. So, yeah. It's just how you like to play. And Arcan Energize kind of would just get in the way for me in, in a lot of the builds that I use, because of the way that I play. So it's really more utilized for that. <laughs> I mean, I already got multiple uh, jades built or ready to build, so it's really just for that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. I do hope you enjoy these chill chats with me running around making a mess everywhere. <laughs>